Hello everyone, in today's video we will talk about Windows information protection and see a demo on how it could help us in protecting our enterprise data. For example, on a device a user can have its enterprise data and he could use his personal applications to access it. But with Windows information protection we can enable settings wherein the user is not able to access the company data using personal apps. So Windows Information Protection gives us the ability to stop this kind of data leakage. Windows Information Protection can work alongside the rights management server wherein even if the data leaves our organization it is uh, protected. For example if someone sends an email attachment with enterprise data from enterprise outlook account then also the data is protected. But in this video, we will only talk about Windows information protection, which can be set through Intune, SCCM or third party MDM solution. In this video, we will see a demo through Intune. So Windows information protection encrypts the data on the device when it is downloaded from locations like SharePoint, Network Share, Enterprise Web Location. Then we define the apps uh, which can access that data and only those apps which are called managed apps will be able to access that enterprise data. So by default they can access the data through managed apps that is allowed but for non-managed apps we define whether it's blocked or user will get a prompt or uh, we just generate an audit log. We can add the apps to our protected apps list and only these apps will be trusted to use the enterprise data. If we have line of business apps, then we do not have to modify them. We just add them to the protected apps list in Windows Information Protection and they will be able to access enterprise data. Well, if the user leaves the organization, then we can unenroll its device from Intune and that will by default wipe all the enterprise data from that device. How it works? So enterprise data is automatically encrypted on a device when saved from an enterprise source or employee marks the data as enterprise using Windows provided EFS. So when the data is downloaded from an enterprise source then at that time it is automatically encrypted but if a user let's say creates a file on the device then the user gets the option to mark it as enterprise or personal. And in the policy, we have list of apps which are allowed to access the data through the app locker functionality, controlling what apps are allowed to run and letting the Windows OS know that the apps can edit corporate data. So there is a concept of uh, enlightened and unenlightened apps here. So enlightened apps are those which can differentiate between corporate and personal data. So some of the examples are Microsoft apps like Outlook, Word, Excel. And these can correctly determine which data to protect based on internal policies. So user while saving the data through these enlightened apps can choose whether to save that as company data or personal data. Then there are apps which are called unenlightened apps. These apps consider all the data as corporate and encrypt everything by default. So the difference here is with enlightened app, we have the option to save the data as corporate and personal, but with unenlightened app, all the data is by default encrypted. So if you have an app which is unenlightened, you can enlighten the app by adding and compiling code using Windows Information Protection APIs. It is only recommended that you add only your line of business unenlightened apps as managed Windows Information Protection apps. You also have an option here to manage unenlightened apps without recompiling the code using APIs. You can create the XML file which is created by AppLocker and you can build your custom policies and you will be able to manage those apps. So we will have a separate demo for it how to manage unenlightened apps using AppLocker XMLs. A device could either be enrolled in MDM which is in tune or it could be without enrollment. So it could be a BYOD case. So without enrollment it is not possible to protect unenlightened apps. So on enrolled devices you can protect the unenlightened apps as well. Without enrollment you cannot protect uh, third party line of business apps. If you want to manage devices without enrollment, you need Azure AD P1 license. With enrollment, you do not need them. In this video, we will do a demo of with enrollment scenario. 
because as an unmanaged device anyways should not be allowed to access uh, sensitive corporate data here i am on my azure portal so i will go to intune app protection i will go to app protection policies and here i will click on create policies go to windows 10 i will create a policy for windows 10 i will name it test policy here under enrollment i will select with enrollment click on next and we will have to select apps so these will be our managed apps which we want to manage through windows information protection so by default microsoft apps are listed here which are enlightened apps so i'm going to select all of them as you can see it has excel onedrive teams azure information protection office 365 apps apart from this we have an option wherein we can add store apps or desktop apps but in this demo we will only see recommended microsoft apps and how it works so i will select all of them click on next so here we define what happens if a user tries to copy the corporate data to an unmanaged app so the first setting is silent where the user will be able to copy but a audit event would be generated in allow overrides user will get a prompt that you are trying to copy and they can click on yes or no and a log would be generated block would simply block it and will not allow it so i will click on allow overrides next so here if we click on add under network boundaries we get the option to define cloud resources protected domains network domains our ipv4 ranges and neutral resources so by default uh, wip is intelligent enough to know that if you are saving the data on local machine then it has to encrypt it but what if we save our data to corporate storage locations which are on our lan or internet then it won't be able to encrypt it so we have to explicitly define those locations here i have another policy which i created and i have locations in it so let me show you that first location i have added is my domain name so it's anubhav in it.core.in and django.local so, so the syntax to add more than one entries here is to add a character l in between them like i have done this between my two domain names the other network location which i have defined here is for my cloud resources so there is a microsoft article for that so let me show you that article which defines what all locations you have to specify so these are office 365 sharepoint online locations which you have to add so i have already added them here and the third one is our ip v4 ranges which i have defined there is one more setting which i changed here which is show the enterprise data protection icon so this will show us an icon with a sign of briefcase on our enterprise data so once you have defined these settings then you will need to apply them to a group so i will apply them to the group in which my user account is part of let me verify whether it's blocked or allow override so i will change it to allow overrides and save this so the setting is saved and let us go to our device and, and see how it uh, works so here i am on my windows 10 device which is as already joined and logged in with the user which has been targeted by the policy in onedrive i could see the folders with the sign of uh, briefcase so it shows that this is my corporate data if I go to documents folder I have a file here so let me right click on it and click on file ownership so here I can define whether it's my work data or personal data so let me change it to work data and as soon as I did that we could see that the file ownership has changed and I will try to send this file through Gmail and see whether it works or not so I have the Gmail open and let me go to documents and try to attach this file 
So here I'm getting the message, your organization may track the action. Are you sure you want to continue? As we selected allow overrides. So I will say yes, and then I would be able to attach this and send it to someone else. Let me try to open this file and copy paste the content in Gmail. So even this is blocked. So this is my account for the domain in which I have configured the web and I have opened it in over so it should work. And if I try to copy the content here, I am able to do that because this is opened in a managed app. And what if I try to attach the file? It will allow me to do that. And this would also work in on our on-premise domain joint hybrid machines. So this is my on-premise Windows 10 machine whose identity has been synced to cloud using Azure AD Connect. So even if I go here and go to documents and create a file here and mark it as corporate, I would be able to use this file only in my managed app. So this is Teams, which is one of my managed apps. And and if I try to upload the file here, it should work. But the same file, if I try to send through Gmail or any unmanaged app, then it won't work. In the next video, we will see how to add a line of business app to managed apps and see how it works. I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe and like to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.